So for people who don't know, we're, um, we're from Atlanta, which is known as a black city. It's a city in which your father was uh, educated at a school called Booker T. Washington mm -hmm. High School, which educated most of the black educators I encountered at Collier Heights Elementary and later Frederick Douglass. There's an over 100 year, even before your father in the 50s, um, establishment of civil rights pushing mm -hmm. movement, whether it was John Wesley Dobbs or um, Booker T. Washington um, here in the early 1900s. You and I stand on the shoulders of a lot of people who have come before us. And that can be very scary. It can be very polarizing, even within our own community. And you've managed to do an amazing job. I've watched you for over 25 years of mm -hmm. my life, next to your mother, and then later there, even while she was alive, but alone, pushing the line on depolarizing, making sure that we don't become separate communities here and nationally. Um, wh why? Why does it matter to you in the way that it sincerely seems to matter? Um, why don't you go off and hide? And just <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I tried that when I was much younger. It mm -hmm. didn't work because mm -hmm. uh, it kept looking for me. Every time I turned up, people either calling on me, yeah. you know, expecting something from me. And it's in, it's in the, it's, I think it's just in our bloodline, our legacy. When you talked about uh, Washington High School, Absolutely. it was my great grandfather, A.D. Williams, who fought for that school to exist. Wow. And a lot of people don't know that. They think. Martin Luther King Jr. appeared, but he came from a lineage Absolutely. of activists out of, out of the black community from my, that grand grandfather, that great grandfather was my father's maternal grandfather. Uh, uh, grandfather. Yes. Um, and then, of course, his father, Daddy King, yes. you know, fought for the equalization of teacher salaries, you know, the integration of elevators. Um, he was a part of the the uh, Citizens Trust Bank, the founding Absolutely. board. Um, so it, it was around me. Yes. And I couldn't escape it. Yes. So it, it's, you know, mother instilled in me. But one thing that's a beauty is she never forced us. Never forced us. She always said in our home, you don't have to be daddy and you don't have to be me. But whatever you do, be your best self. But she instilled so much in us and she raised us with the King Center. 